Hello and welcome to Daily Politics. Today we are reaching you live on Trust TV. Uh, our discussion today, today we are going to have our discussion uh, on the issue of uh, APC National Convention. Today we discuss the forthcoming National Convention of the All Progressives uh, uh, Congress, APC. We now know that come February 2022, the APC will conduct its national convention. Two days ago, the governors of the party, including the chairman of the APC the, and the National Caretaker Committee and Yobe State Governor, Mai Malabuni, met with the president and came out with the news that the long-awaited convention will finally take place in February next year. The governors did not give a specific date when this uh, convention will hold in February. But what does this development mean for potential candidates for a new national working committee in the APC? What does it mean for the governors and other stakeholders in the party? And above all, what does it mean for the party's chances in the 2023 elections, which is just around the corner? With me to discuss all of these questions are two APC members. Uh, first is Barista Sanusi Musa, who is a private legal practitioner and, of course, a passionate member of the APC. Uh, my second guest is Aliu Audu, who is a national leader of the APC Rebat Group, a pressure group within the party. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for having us. But before we bring you all of these discussions, let's take a minute to take a round of politics in the news. Stay tuned. Mixed reactions have continued to trail the fixing of February 2022 for the conduct of the Convention of the Ruling All Progressives Congress, APC, to elect new members of the National Working Committee, NWC, to run the party for four years. In the last 17 months, the affairs of the ruling party are being piloted by a Catholic committee chaired by the Yobe State Governor, May Malabuni. The committee was constituted in June 2020 following the outstanding of the Comrade Adams of Shomali led NWC. However, there have been calls for the removal of Booney over the legality of his committee. Last Wednesday, policemen took over the secretariat of the party in Abuja when aggrieved members attempted to stage a protest to call for Booney's removal. The meeting was attended by Governor Booney and his Jigawa state counterpart, Mohammed Abubakar Badaru. Six days to the expiration of the time meant for the filing of petitions to challenge the outcome of the Anambra State gubernatorial election, the state election petition tribunal is yet to receive any petition. According to the law, aggrieved candidates and their political parties have 21 days grace from the date of the declaration of the results by the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC to file in petition. The returning officer for the Annenberg governorship election, Professor Florence Obi, had on 10th of November declared Professor Charles Soludo of the All Progressive Grand Alliance Afga the winner of the election. Barely three days after, the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC in the election, Senator Andy Uba, and the candidate of the Action Democratic Party ADP, Afam Umezioke, indicated interest to challenge the outcome at the tribunal. However, the secretary of the tribunal, Barrister Suraja Gosol, said that the tribunal has not received any petition from any party or candidate. He said the tribunal panel was set up immediately after the announcement of the results. The Senate President Ahmed Lawan says the expectation of members of the National Assembly is that the President Mohamed Buhari will sign Electoral Bill 2021 into law. He said this while fielding questions from the State House reporters after a closed-door meeting with the President at the Presidential Villa Abuja. Some governors and federal lawmakers have disagreed on the revised Electoral Act passed by the National Assembly, which approved direct primary as a sole method to produce candidates for the elective positions. Last week, Thursday, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Baja Biamil, said President Buhari was in support of the direct primary, which allows all card carry members of the political parties to be involved in the choice of candidates for major elections after a meeting with the President. Also speaking on the matter, the President of the Senate said nobody could dictate to the President on the decision to take on the electoral law without recourse to his advisers and following due process. He, however, expressed optimism that the bill would get presidential assent. Welcome back. This is Daily Politics. 
And if you are just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. I am Suleiman Suleiman. Now we're going into the discussion proper about the APC uh, 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 convention. Uh, Barista, as a lawyer, let me uh, uh, start with you. Why would, and also APC member, why would the APC uh, wait until after the PDP had done their own convention? It's the ruling party. It should be leading. No, I don't, I don't think APC waited for PDP to do its own convention. Okay. Uh, after all, um, if not because of the problem of leadership we had, which led to the formation of the caretaker committee, certainly our time, at the time for us to have new leadership would be sometimes around August, uh, June, August 2022. So certainly we were not waiting for PDP to do its convention. Um, uh, it's, it's an issue of uh, the party had a problem which led to the dissolution of the then uh, National uh, Caretaker Committee of the party. And uh, of course, uh, for uh, uh, issues that has to do with the membership revalidation, the, which led to also dissolution of the state working committees of the party, uh, the working committees of the party from the world level up to the uh, state level, then a new timetable had to be put in place. So I, I don't think it is correct to think that we are waiting for PDP. In any way, why should we vote for PDP? A party that we know cannot win election in 2023. Mm. I think that the, 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 a lot of people are saying that the reason why uh, APC waited until uh, now, and we're not even sure that it's going to do it, has been kicking uh, the goalpost because, for example, this convention was supposed to have held uh, um, in August, as he said, they didn't hold in August. Then they say December. That one they didn't hold. Now they say uh, uh, February. Is it? Is there any uh, 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 hidden agenda to this? No, I I I disagree with you, and mm -hmm. I quite agree with my brother and my friend here. And I mean, I, you misread him there, or you misinterpreted him there. He meant um, August 2022. You know, um, safe for in August 2022 to have a convention to have a new leadership, leadership. new leadership of the party. Yes, because okay. our last our last um, convention was in 2018. Yes, our last convention was in 2018. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it's a four-year tenure. Mm. So as you would expect, it would have been mm. in 2022 Two. for mm. us to have it. Like he rightly said, it was about. Um, the, the, the leadership challenges we've had, mm -hmm. you know, that's actually um, the reason why, mm -hmm. you know. However, I do agree that um, we, should have, we should have done this about a year ago, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, a year plus ago, to be honest, because when the caretaker committee was inaugurated, um, I think that was in um, June last year, mm -hmm. uh, there about last year, it was, it was um, given a mandate to you know, organize the national convention and, um, re I mean, bring back um, the end of UC that, that, that was dissolved, mm. you know, prior to its, the formation of the caretaker committee. Mm. That should have happened about, um, you know, sometime last year, towards okay. the end of last year. Mm. It didn't happen. They, 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 they requested for an extension on the basis that they wanted to do membership registration, mm. which um, I do not agree with. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was need for membership registration, especially mm. when there was no plan to add any value mm. whatsoever mm. to the existing, you know, database we have. I mean, we had membership registration in 2014, February to be mm. precise. And, um, you know, in less than 10 years, if we, if we had reasons to do another revalidation, mm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm open to expansion or, I mean, opening mm. the door for, it, for new memberships. There could have been a, a continued continue regis membership registration. Yes. Mm. But if we're going to invalidate mm. what we already have and re or revalidate it mm. by fresh registration, I'd have expected that, mm. you know, some level of, you know, addition, some, there should have been something new. But, mm. I mean, as I speak with you, it was, it was, it was the same form, mm. literally, that I failed in 2014, mm. that I failed. Mm. Thank you very much. I will, I'll be taking you on this issue of uh, uh, registration and how it might uh, uh, have or influence on the leadership of the party presently constituted and then working towards uh, 
2023 uh, and the convention. But well, you mentioned something crucial. You said the mandate of the caretaker committee. A lot of Nigerians uh, are saying <coughs> that the caretaker committee does not even have any, does not have a legal mandate in the first place. You know, that the committee is a kangaroo committee, a committee constituted by the whims of the president rather than by the constitution of the party itself. That's not How true. does that play out? That's not true. Okay. And uh, actually, it is quite unfair for anybody, if there is any president, I mean, if you can accuse any, the, this president with anything, certainly not of imposition of his whims over the APC. But even the idea of constitution, I mean, the idea that they are going to have convention just came out after they met with the no, president. No, 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 please. Isn't, uh, please. Doesn't that but, suggest, at least no, suggest, no, 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 no. Doesn't imposition? The, a president who has the look. Shouldn't the a party be able to run no, on its no, no, own, no, 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 independent no. of whoever is the president? Look, understand. That's what parties no, do no, everywhere no, no. in the this, world. This president symbolizes this party because. He did mark you. This is somebody who has the mandate of the entire Nigerian, and it's a privilege that he is having that mandate under the APC. Mm. So, if the entire country will look up to him mm. for anything to be done, but then but, certainly but, 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 the party under which he became a president will accord him that respect mm. because, because he, as at now, he, this, he is the face of this party. So for them to, and you don't expect Bahari, the President Bahari is not like me, who is an ordinary member of the party. Mm. You don't expect President to hear what mm. will without, happen Without the ordinary party. members of the party, there cannot be a president and under that party. I, I agree with so you. So ordinary members agree, matter. But without, without President Bahari, there wouldn't have been a PC. Okay. Yes. In so it's a one-man party. It's likely to it's die after he leaves party. No, it's okay. not a one-man party. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is, mm. It is unfair for anybody to accuse the president of imposing his views of the party. I mean, even in 2020, all of us, but me as a person, I, I, I can claim to have some deeper knowledge on what happened in 2020, uh, 2019, mm -hmm. when we are having our primaries or what had happened. Okay. It, some people who emerged even against the personal wish of the president. Mm. And he did not... Unlike what we had when uh, PDP was in power during Obasanjo, that he sat at the villa and disqualified people not to contest election, he allowed the people of the party, even if it is against his own wish, for them to decide who are, who are to be the candidate. Yeah. So for somebody to say that just the, all this thing is done at the whims of the president, certainly is, is quite been unfair but to the president. But a lot of people are saying it. Um, you see, to be, to be honest with you, I... I, I it's quite somehow I agree and disagree with you on where do you agree? I agree that um, the current Kitika committee seems to use um, the name and the influence and the love and the, and the respect the members of the party have for the president for their personal you know uh, gains okay not for the president's gain okay you know like he rightly said, president is a man who believes that, um, like, he, like he recently um, made known, yeah. again, that power must be returned to the people. Yeah. Everything the president has done till date yeah. is to ensure that the values of democracy are upheld. Yeah. However, you know, we are aware that there are a number of people who hide behind the name President Muhammad Buhari and the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria yeah. to advance their personal mm. you know um agenda mm. people like who i'd rather not say okay <laughs> um, um, um and um and and, and, and ag ag against the wishes of the generality of the party members mm. which is why my group the apc rebel group mm. and also known as um, apc concern stakeholders in our letter to mr president you know about two months ago we made it clear because we wanted to bring to his notice a lot of things. Mm. He, I mean, it is not our desire to burden him with party activities, just like you were trying to infer. Mm. But in, a, in, a, in, a, in an environment, in, in a growing democracy like ours, where especially when um, an opposition party turned into party in government, mm. you know, on the back of an individual, mm. you know, like 
I will tell you, like, for all of the leaders, including many of the governors today, they do not inspire many, many of the part, most of the party members. Yeah. The but only isn't reason that by itself the a only sort of imposition. No, if you have a, a party that is determined solely by the influence of one. No, individual. no, no. He, he's the party. What kind of party? The party is it? not. The party's you know decision are not made on his you know on his um, influence. Okay. Are not influenced by his desire okay. at all, you know. But people have faith in the party because people, the party gained a transferred faith that we have in the person of President Muhammad Buhari. Mm. So, as in, it's, it's, it's as good as, as far as this man is the leader of this party, I am confident that it's a limit to how wrong the party can go. Mm. As, as confident as I am that this man will never. Mm. Impose his personal wishes, mm. but you just said that, that they, impo the they, they, they imposed a uh, new registration, which they, I will be taking. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, they to Nigerians is APC. Nigerians don't no, distinguish the, the, between the, members of the APC. No, APC well, uh, by day I mean APC by, for by, Nigerians. by no. day I mean the current uh, membership bring, of the uh, Kiyotika committee into 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 the no discussion. Problem. Yeah. Mm. We will, there are, we will not leave the caretaker committee throughout this discussion, but we'll come back to it. There's this <clears throat> uh, 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 idea that when the registration, the whole idea, because you had just, come, the APC is just like five, six years old. Yeah. It's a new party in, 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 the, in the context of Nigeria. Unlike the PDP that is over 20 years old, it's just about one third of that time, if at all. So why would you need a whole new registration? Some people are saying that that was necessary or they, that was needed in order to manipulate the national executive of the party and maybe also later to manipulate the presidential candidate that will emerge in the party. For a ruling party, this is serious for Nigeria. No, 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 that's okay. not true. Look, it's like uh, people used to forget what happened. When we did our registration in 2014, mm. Because uh, the government of the day think that uh, we, we are going to defeat it. SS were sent to cut away the, the machines, the record we had in Lagos. Because we are not in government then. So which one did you use for the primaries in 2015? No, no, I'm coming now. I'm okay. coming. That's, uh, I, I, as I can in tell you, after yeah. that, after that, yeah. the, when that happened, the the party could not have what it can say this is an authenticated membership register of the party after what happened when the ss decided to cut away the materials where the information were stored mm. okay now i know um some of these issues uh, personally i recall I, I raised it with uh, uh, Comrade Adam Oshmole after he emerged as a leader, mm. of, as a chairman of the party, mm. of the need to, to, to have uh, membership registration in such a way that we will have authenticated uh, mm. of the party. Um, then, okay, uh, this leadership came, mm. and of course, they realized that really, if we want one, we have to determine, because look at what happened. In, in the in the in the two thousand. But that's precisely what people are saying that because it's a caretaker. No, this no, no. question is to you that it's a caretaker. I, I, think, I think you okay. did allow me to to to, to make please, this point please. now. When when we had it was this time when we when we, in in twenty fifteen most of the primaries were no direct primaries were delegate. Now in twenty nineteen we had primaries in some places where we say we had direct primaries, but actually where we had the direct primaries that time. There was no register to authenticate how many members of the party. We had a situation whereby you return a number of votes that said people really uh, voted, and at the general election, you now had less vote. Then it showed that there is problem somewhere. When, uh, what do we do now? We have to see how to, we must, we must find a way of how to solve that problem. Mm -hmm. So that when we have a register like we have now, if I'm going into a direct primary election, I know the total number of the registered member of the party in each ward, in each polling unit. So at the end of the day, somebody will not just come up and come with a result and say that uh, this is what we have as a result. Just 
Uh, this problem recently manifested in Anambra mm. because we never had the opportunity to do the registration in Anambra. Mm. Somebody just went there to say that we have somebody had scored about 200,000 so votes. So is the Anambra it, situation what we are looking forward to? No, no, no. We are, we are saying that, look, okay. What that is that is more reason why we had to do the registration. Okay. If we had so, had uh, the registration, uh, and I'm brown, let me bring, that could it um, it, It's a three-way conversation. You. So let me bring uh, 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 Malali. He said that the the whole reason is to have authentic new uh, and this was conducted by a caretaker committee. Some people are saying that even the whole idea of conducting. A registration because registration means it determines who has the vote and who doesn't have the vote so it is at the very foundation of anything that can be called internal democracy you know so that a caretaker committee shouldn't even have a remit that far i agree with you on that i mean as to the reason why we we there was need for 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 revalidation of membership you know what barista sunisi has said are very valid as to reason why we should but what is what is to be you know what is of concern is do they have the mandate to do that even in the name of the cecpc Caretaker Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee. Mm. So the, the tax is specific. Even in the name. Mm. They were not to carry out the function of the NWC. Mm. If not, if a fully elected. If not, mm. might have well have sworn them in as NWC. Mm. Their mandate was clear. Mm. Conduct, because as at the time they were brought in, we had our committees at the world level, executive escorts at world level, mm. at local government level, at state level. Mm. So what we didn't have was just the National Working Committee. Mm. So their function was to be in charge of the party at the national level. Mm. Within that time, right, the NEC gave them the power to act as NWC only in some circumstances for the reason of some purposes that would have been. I mean, we, we are aware of many by election in between elections, and mm. within that period, we're not going to stay away from those elections. Mm. And if we're going to ever have candidates in those elections, we must have people who will nominate those candidates. So, in those instances, they were given the power, mm. you know, by neck. Mm. To, perform, specific to, situations. To, to perform those functions as the NWCs. Yes. They might not have spelled it out, but you know, the name spelled out their core mandate. Mm. So we would expect that they perform that function within that point and ensure that they are, they, their most important task mm. within that six months, most important task was to conduct convention and bring in new set of leaders that will be sworn in as a legitimate national working committee. Mm. But in their personal ambition mm. to do whatever they want to do, they decided. Because as valid as the need to do registration were or are, it could have easily been done after their first six months. They could have concentrated on conducting the NWC on, on the national convention, then the NWC will now be say. I mean, they were they would have been in a, po a very good position to say, these are the challenges for the six period six months we are in charge of the party. These are the challenges we have noticed. Mm. We advise strongly that a new registration be done. I mean, I'm sure if they submit such prayers between the then NWC and of course the neck, you know, it would have probably be you know. Um, but, but but they but, didn't. Mm. They went ahead with the idea of wanting to create new registration. But guess what happened? They created more problem. Even more problem. Then even with the membership registration mm. than what they met on ground. Mm. Surely the membership registration, whatever problems are there, will manifest as you move closer towards the convention in, in February. But before we get to that point, still on this issue of mandate, if their co-mandate is to produce a new NWC. 
within six months within six months exactly. which has now elapsed and more and have, have you know two times over two, two, two times over heading to the top what then what then happens even when there and this question goes to you as a lawyer you know mm -hmm. not just as an apc mm -hmm. man speak like a lawyer for once you know and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 when 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 that happens when we get to that point yes. where you now have a whole new nwc constituted and brought into being by this very caretaker uh, committee mm. what happens to the legality and legitimacy of that new uh, 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 NWC based on the fact that even the legality and the legitimacy of the chairman, you know, of the current, the chair of the current caretaker committee is being uh, challenged by a lot of people and indeed even by a minority vo uh, 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 verdict of the Supreme Court. No, no, no. What you happens? see, my, well, the minority verdict of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. as it is, it remains just an obiter. The majority decision is a decision. But as the that, minority verdict was not an issue in the. We, we, it was not an issue in the main uh, uh, no, no, verdict. No, no. If it was, then probably no, no, it, it was. wouldn't no, have no, been no, a minority was. verdict. No, 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 it was. Okay. I, I have read that judgment. Okay. And the leading judgment, yes, which was delivered by, by, by my Lord Justice Akoma Agim, mm -hmm. what did he say? Mm -hmm. He restated the position of the law, which has far back has been there since the time of the case of uh, Onoha, mm -hmm. that the internal affairs of a political parties are issues that courts don't delve into. He clearly stated that, mm. that the court have no jurisdiction. Then why do politicians the go to court at all? No, no, no. The, the people have, the courts will have jurisdiction to subject the decision of the party as to whether it is done according to the law, according to the rules and regulations. Or according to their own rules yes. or constitution, for but example. But the mm. courts have no jurisdiction to question how a political party decides to run its own You're not a lawyer, but do you agree? Th this I is do, what I the do, Supreme Court I do, says. I do, I, do, I, do, I do agree in the sense that, in, in support of what he said, I do agree in the sense that um, if I get you clearly from where you're coming from, you know, there are things that, that validate, you know, um, an organ of our party. Okay. At the, at the national convention, by however means a set of leaders emerge legally, as some people might like to put it, or illegally, as some people might like to do it, the moment the, the, the convention you know, ratifies those people, that organ, mm. as the organ of the party, mm. they become valid and okay. they become legal organ of the party. Okay. So, whatever has happened from the party registration, however, you know, mm. ho however, you know, the size of rancor mm. is all the way through the world to the local government, to mm. the to the state congress, mm. and the, even the national convention itself. The moment we have set of leaders, mm. which is why my group mm. are saying that we just don't want to do it. Mm. We want to do it right. Okay. Do you understand? Because we are, we are aware. That I mean, we would have as well just gone back home and fold our arms, wait for it to happen, then we approach the court. Mm. But we are aware that truly, truly, the court should not have a say in how we run our party, especially mm. if we go by if we go by the rules and regulations as stipulated but, in our but, own party but, constitution. But the core issue, the core issue is not just internal to parties. Constitutionalism is also involved because what those who are uh, against the caretaker, the chairmanship of the, the, the caretaker committee are saying is that the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which goes beyond your party, which goes beyond an internal matter, mm -hmm. clearly states that anyone who is governor of a state cannot hold any other executive position anywhere in business, in uh, uh, non-profit, or in politics this is this is this is what the issue is against you know not just internal to you I but agree. before we, we we come to that we will be taking uh, uh, a minute to go on a break when we come back we'll see what the lawyers and the APC members uh, uh, have to tell us on that thank you for staying with us
Get latest updates on current topical issues and breaking news by downloading the Trust TV mobile app on your Android devices. Go online, click Google Play Store, search Trust TV, install the app, and get doses of unfiltered information on happenings all over the world in your pocket. Trust TV, documenting the Nigerian story. Nigerian story. Welcome back. If you are just joining us, this is Daily Politics on Trust TV. Uh, my, I am Suleiman Suleiman, and with me, uh, Barista Sanusi Musa and Ali uh, uh, Audu, both of the APC. Uh, before we went on break, we were discussing the APC convention, which is holding in February, and the politics uh, uh, leading to that. Now, b b before we went on break, we were saying that what is being challenged is not necessarily internal to the APC, but because it has dimension to Nigerian uh, constitution. What do you say to that? Look, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court, in the same judgment mm -hmm. you referred to, has left that to rest. It okay. says that the position of the caretaker of the party is not an executive position. Mm -hmm. It's an ad hoc arrangement. And nobody is saying that, and all of them... So the position of acting president, for example, is not, is not or acting governor, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not. It's, it's, it's not uh, uh, executive position. But what is the nexus? Let me understand. So for, I mean, for example, you have had situations, you know, everywhere where you have a caretaker committee mm -hmm. performing at least some of the functions yeah. of the full executive. Yeah. So the person leading that is no longer executive? Now you now understand. You, you two say that the caretaker committee performing, that means we agree that you said that is full, mm -hmm. that this is an ad hoc arrangement. Mm -hmm. So the, well, the question whether that ad hoc arrangement amounts, also to, amounts to being, being fully executive. an executive. Mm -hmm. And the court say no. Okay. It's an exact, it's, this is an ad hoc arrangement. Mm -hmm. And is this man receiving two salaries as mm -hmm. And this and nobody mark you up to tomorrow nobody is calling my mother Bunny as you. acting mm. national chairman of the party mm. no he's not acting national chairman it's okay. of the party let's all move on to the question of who and who is likely to emerge within the APC and you know as contenders because the, the top spot that most Nigerians want to see is the party chairman you know so who are the <coughs> contenders now for that position and what are their chances and more importantly what does it mean to have Mr. A or B or C as party chairman particularly for example the issue of zoning uh, 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 the position in the country all right um it in 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 um, to be quite honest with you i am mm. not as particular about the personality about the person mm as I am about the personality okay. of who occupies that top position. How do you mean? I do not think the party should be made a party for governors, ex-governors, powerful people, for powerful people, and of the powerful people. Mm. You know, democracy itself is, 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 is government of the people, mm. for the people, and by the people. So I would expect that we follow same in, in ensuring that we do not return, we, don't, we do not reduce APC into party of ex-governors, party of former governors, party of governors. Former PDP in, governors. Irrespective. Okay. Irrespective. Okay. I want a situation where, because if you, if you look critically at um, our, 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 our country, you find out that home and away, Nigerians are doing excellently in different fields of life, mm. except leadership, except governance, except politics. Mm. And a party that came on the back of change agenda, mm. 
would expect that what we want to do is see that change. We want to change that equally. Mm. And there is no way we, 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 we go about doing same thing the same way and expect different results. Mm. So if we want different results, we should actually try to do things a little differently. Mm. So now, these are my, these are my views. I, I, I would want a situation where a young man with passion and leadership <laughs> joins APC and wishes to grow and knows that um, he doesn't have to try to be a governor first so he can become national chairman. Mm. So it's, it's what we've had from inception, even during the interim leadership of the party, mm. has always been a former governor. B.C. Akode was a former governor. Mm. Um, Oyegu was a former governor. Mm. Adam Sushomoli was a former mm. governor. And the current one is, current a, is, a, is a current governor. governor. So, I am Does that mean that governors have an outsized influence and power within the party? That, that, is, that is a known fact. Okay. Not just the party. It's, 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 it's a known fact in our democracy in Nigerian Nigeria. Nigerian democracy. We know, yes. we know what the Nigeria Governors Forum, how influential they were on the, mm. with the previous president of the opposition party while they were in government. Mm. I mean, they're so powerful. They're even more powerful than the, mm. than the president. That, that, that takes us to other issues around as you march towards uh, yes. uh, the convention. For example... The, 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 there is a bill which has reached the president now yeah. about the amending the electoral law. At least one provision of that bill you know, provides for um, uh, direct primaries. You know. So if the president signs that bill before February, before your convention, that will mandate the APC's uh, 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 convention. Uh, 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 well, that would be, uh, would it be convention or just the presidential candidates? It's candidates for offices, right? For elective offices. Yes. Oh, okay. The so, primaries. Uh, but would that, would that mean, would you be interested in, in, in doing a direct primaries? I mean, direct uh, uh, elections direct rather primaries. than delegates, you know, but just like I, I, direct. I, I, yeah. Personally, I have. In electing the NWC? You see, no, you can't do that. Okay. One, um, one as a lawyer. Mm. And I, I, my view is, is somehow not straightforward okay. to the front thing. Mm. Are you saying lawyers are not straightforward? But go no, on. no, no, no. If I want to talk as a lawyer, mm. I want to see an interpretation of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria mm. as to the extent of the powers of the National Assembly to make laws with respect to how political parties are governed. Mm. Whether that power extend to making provision in the electoral act as how to conduct primaries in the party. Mm. I hope we'll take up, particularly now that there is a, 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 this a, 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 a problem between the governors and the members of the Assembly. You believe that the National Assembly doesn't even have that Whether that, we that need power. an interpretation. Okay. Whether that power of the national legislative powers of the national assembly extend to micromanaging mm. political, political parties. Mm. That is because very it's like important. saying the national assembly can legislate what food I eat in my house. Exactly. This evening. Exactly. Okay. Th that is one thing that we have to go and take. Yeah. But going for the direct primaries now, as good as the, the idea is, mm. my concern is one. If you want to have the direct primaries, are the political parties having the necessary machinery in place okay. to be able to conduct a primary, a direct primary election that will sincerely be seen to be a direct primary election, not a kangaroo one, mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. When is uh, are, we, are the poli do the political parties have? an authenticated and verifiable register mm. okay does it what of the finances that are involved in conducting direct primary election mm. okay. how do you know these are all issues that we mm. have to see being taken because look we cannot be we cannot be preaching doing the right thing by uh, one thing and coming to the other way to say no let's do it anyway certainly no if whether direct or indirect primaries, if at the end of the day, what will count is not what the peop people wish, 
then it is of no use. Because if you are going to have a direct primacy that nobody can really say it truly that after the direct primaries now, tomorrow he can verify that this truly are the but vote, then it is of no use. Thank you. But um, if, if, if you don't have direct primaries, even at the or direct you know, uh, votes, even at the, at the NWC level, the, in, the, in the coming uh, convention to have a national leadership uh, for the party, what would that say about the kind of uh, crisis that emerged from the state and ward and local uh, congresses where most has have been uh, you know uh, a consensus 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 here consensus and a lot of people have gone to court challenging this consensus that uh, parties were imposing uh, consensus candidates on them and in some cases people were even having uh, parallel uh, 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 congresses and parallel Executives, uh, uh, executives at, at various levels of, of, of state. Yeah. Well, how are you going to deal with those issues as you work towards uh, the general election the of general 2023? Even the national convention. Okay. First. I, I would like to quickly, before I address it, I would like to quickly mm -hmm. touch on what my brother said about the mm -hmm. direct primary thing. Mm -hmm. I agree with him that um, it is, I don't think the 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 do I say the sanctity mm, or the nation. independence of political party is respected by by the National Assembly imposing mm. a means of choosing? So if, if the if the if the president assents to it as a party, the APC are you going to challenge it? Or if the president does not withdraw his accent and the National Assembly vetoes that and it becomes law. Are you going to challenge it in the point? I am courts? confident the president will assent to it. Okay. Because why? Because the president has always been and he has always maintained that the power must be returned to the people. Okay. So the president will rather err on the side of caution. Yeah. And I, and I, and I'll tell you as much as I said, you know, that shouldn't be a law. I would expect that a system of governance that is people dependent mm. you know when i say democracy is government of the people for the people by the people so why should leaders be afraid of the people deciding who becomes their leader if this whole means of government is for the people by the people and for the people mm. so you see it is it, some 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 things as much as i do not agree with national assembly legislating that I am comfortable, I'm okay with them legislating it in the sense that, you know, there are measures we take to correct a system that has refused to be right. Mm. I'm looking at that as, as like, um, you know how you jumpstart a car? Mm. You shouldn't be jumpstarting a car. Mm. But when a car refuses to start, what do you do? Mm. You jumpstart it. So I think that is going to be, that's one law that sometime in the future, Mm. it's going to have to be revisited mm. because it truly does not give the independence and the freedom of the choice for of a party to decide how the leaders this independence are and freedom and choice for 20 for, years what have they done with it exactly they have just been using it to impose exactly you know, to, and the and to, the and, the, and the other side of it where i disagree with mm. my brother is the fact that if we are looking for excuses not to be successful will find mountains of them. It's like saying, how many children do we have that take WAIEC exams every year? Jump exams across the country. It's like saying, it's rather impossible to have each of them sit for their exams. So what we should do, we should have a local government and let them elect somebody who is going to write the exam for that set of local government. Have a group of people, there's two people going to write the exam for them. No. If direct primary means that you must have a register, it becomes a prerequisite. It becomes, you know, it becomes binding mm. on the party to, to ensure have an authentic register. Mm. It is not going to be. It, it shouldn't say because um, you refuse to put your house in order, mm. I shouldn't put mine in order. Mm. So what that simply means is, any leader, be it as a party level or at the state level 
who can who has identified a problem and cannot provide a solution to it the person the leader has automatically become the problem mm. so we have a challenge and the challenge is how do we ensure we have an authenticated database of register thanks to automation excuse me every person who uses a mobile phone has his record with the telco provider mm. something is done to ensure that mm. we are legislating that mm. every telco must so have a buy it must have a what's it called mm. uh, we, we, uh, we're running short of time so we have mm. the issue we, he, the, he the, left the issue of the election the is and which is where we are going the, yes now the, is, now the election mm. the, the the convention itself yes does not really have to be dependent on direct or indirect we already have in our constitution three means of choosing our leaders mm. direct indirect or consensus, consensus. Mm. so our problem from from world to local government that we have experienced is not because we are against the consensus as a means mm. it's because of how the consensus means have been abused and how easy it is for some people to sit in blantyre street mm. and determine how some local government in guso mm. how some local government uh okay mm. how a local government in uh, alimosho mm. should pick their leader okay that already is an imposition mm. So uh, uh, thank you. This uh, 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 roundabout. We yes. started with you, so maybe we will be okay. uh, ending well, with I, you. Again. For me, I think what mm. what we have. No, the, the 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 real question is mm. with all these problems mm. that the APC has been having. You don't have a national uh, uh, NWC national ESCO yet, and the PDP uh, they have their own. And today they are having a retreat. In fact, they sent out a statement that. Uh, uh, Nigerians can Nigeria cannot afford another four years under the APC. Mm -hmm. Do you really think you can match the PDP in 2019 Look, or other political a, a, parties? A, a, a PDP, in had, a PDP yeah. had convention. They produce leaders by allocation, <laughs> leaders that cannot they have nothing to show for the people. Mm. They they are brandishing a um, young boy of a, a, 25, a 25 years year as a youth leader. Who has nothing to show to Nigerians? But that's a youth. The, let me tell you, it's yeah. not about age. It's beyond if for it's beyond age, if at 25 years that boy was not able to majority of please, Nigerians please, let me voters say this. are in that. No, no, let, let me say it. they bracket. are, they are. Hmm. But he's not a good example for somebody at 25. He's definitely he has, has to be 65. Years. No, 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 no. Okay. At 25 years, he has not finished his degree. Hmm. Now, I'm not saying he must do degree. Hmm. At 25 years. He has never said this is the business I'm doing. Mm. He's neither a mechanic. <laughs> he's neither a, a trader. Mm. He doesn't have a degree. Uh, so what is that the kind seconds. of youth mm. we want to have? No. APC wants to have a youth that are productive, mm. a youth that are useful to the society, youth. not a hanger mm. on like that I have to boy stop that you are here. Position as a youth leader. Mm. That shows PDP has nothing to give to this country. Thank you. The PDP you are not much. here to speak for themselves. No, we are going to no, have, we have them to here sometime, and you. then we will tell them that this is what uh, you said. <laughs> uh, we, we are now at the very end of today's program. Thank you for staying with us, and do join us again same time tomorrow for another episode of Daily Politics. Yeah. I am your regular host, Suleiman Suleiman. Enjoy the rest of your day.